yeah, the, the, the last hour, so this book's about the last hour. Yeah, the last the, hour of who? The tribulation of the last hour, the judgment day. The no, it does, does it say judgment day or does it say last hour? And their hearts can never be changed. Though they were having, though they were having these long beers, though they were... Re you, you know the way people speak in tongues and I don't want to... I, I don't want to disrespect yeah, yeah. it, so I'm just going to tell you what I've seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's people just shaking their heads and speaking... Uh, you can't make up what and words they're saying. Yeah, yeah, it seems like the person's not well. Is that normal? Like, like, some, some like, people, some like people. Muhammad. No, like, so, well, Muhammad spoke in tongues. Like Muhammad, yeah? When some, he was uh, people, pressed. Yeah, some people... <laughs> when he was <laughs> pressed hard. No, you make me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You come up with so, some argument. They have that's like, right. Wait, yeah. you know, yeah. They have no basis. That's subjective. That's nothing to do with that. The Prophet Muhammad prayed in tongues. What can I say about that? No, let me make a make a point here. <laughs> Have you finished your uh, point? Because yeah, I didn't yeah, want to no, cut you off. I will, uh, That's not I will give him a time. Okay, yeah. I will give him a time. No, the true Gabriel. Whenever a true Gabriel appeared, I already answered or, that to him. I answered that. Mary, Mary, he came and greeted to Mary and introduced himself to Mary. Yeah. But when Gabriel came to Muhammad. He never greeted Muhammad. He never introduced himself to Muhammad. That's why we are true here to say that this is a shaitan, not Gabriel. Okay, so, so you're, my friend, you're repeating uh, the same thing. Absolutely. If you don't greet somebody, right, that right means you are the devil. That this is a shaitan. If you don't greet somebody, shaitan, then you are a devil. Yeah. <laughs> because shaitan is the one who pressed hard person and choke the person. It doesn't say otherwise, choke. You're just repeating the same the old stuff again and again. Move on to your next argument. Always comes and greet. We, we've already done with that. Next argument. Okay, so always wanna, comes wanna, and greet. Yeah. Next argument. Yeah. Next yeah. argument. Thank you. Thank in this, you. In this hadith, in, in Sahih Muslim 2953, you see, he said, hmm? a young boy, oh, Mugaira, be Shubha, had to pass by the Holy Prophet, and he was of my age. Thereupon, Allah's apostle said, if he, long, if he lives long, he will not grow very old till the last hour would come to the people of this generation. So we can see the Prophet is saying, like, there was a little boy at the time, and he was saying that the, the, the day of Qiyamah, the last hour, will not come till, um, till this boy uh, gets to a very old age. So he's saying that the day of Qiyamah would be in this little boy's period of time. But we can see we live many years past Muhammad's like, death, many years after, probably after this boy's existence. So where is this little boy now? Going to Muhammad, this boy should still be alive. Otherwise, the, the, if, you, if you take the hadith in isolation, then you're going to reach those sorts of conclusions. But if you take the hadith, the ahadith, plurality, in totality, then you're going to understand. There was a janaza, you know janaza, yeah? Funeral. So yeah, funeral pr proceeding. And the companion asked the Prophet peace be upon him about the end of times. He said, uh, whose funeral is going past? He's like, it's your funeral going past. Huh? The first one was Pratab. Then he said, it's my funeral going past. In other words, the day of judgment for us will happen when we pass away. Yeah, to each person hour, is subjective. It's, the, it's, talk, it's pretty much talking about the RC at the day of Qiyamah, like the, the resurrect, the, the day of judgment. That's what the last Yeah, the, the, the day, but what's the wording of the hadith? It says, um, yeah, the, the, the last hour. So this book is about the last hour. The yeah, the last hour of who? The tribulations and last hour of the judgment day. The no, it does, does it say judgment day or does it say last hour? Well, if it's talking about tribulations and, and the portions of the last hour. Are you know. talking about what's in brackets or are you talking about the Arabic? Because I'm going to have to read the Arabic then. So here is a young boy, Umar Gairash, uh, happened to pass by the Holy Prophet and he was of my age. Thereupon, Allah's prof, uh, apostle. Yeah, last day for who though? Last hour. He's, talk, he's talking Yeah, about last hour for who? As, you know the last hour? So, as, so you know no, how as Christians. No, 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 last hour. Bro, for, for me, the last hour is going to be when I die, bro. The last hour is going to be when you die. Because in, in a, I'm pretty sure in the Quran... No, Qiyamah, the word Qiyamah. Yeah. It's the day of standing. That's what we're referring to. The last hour, bro, the last hour for somebody, they say like somebody is dying every minute because of cigarette, because of cigarettes. Their last hour was, was, was now. I don't see that, man. I, no, that... It doesn't matter if you see it or not. What I'm, yeah, yeah. What I'm telling you when it comes to usuls and principles is one is Qiyamah, one is last hour. You have to look at the usage of Arabic. You have to know... Bro, 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 bro. You have to look at Nahwa and Sarf. And when you study Nahwa and Sarf, you know last hour refers to people passing away. Last hour could refer to Qiyamah. Last hour, there's some that are specific language. There's some that are generic language. This is 
general lang language. What you're doing is, it's a mistake, is you're applying something general to a specific case. That's all I'm saying. Next. I, I, for me, okay, so that's how you say but... I'm telling you, you have to know okay, Arabic. Yes, Do you know yes. Arabic? I can read it, yes, I can read it, but I don't know about how, I don't know about like... Uh, Do you know Nahwa and Sarf? But why does it always have to be Arabic? I always say Muslims say Arabic, Arabic. Why can't Allah, if he's all, why, could, why didn't he just make one language for the, all, all the nations? He has Arabic. But why, so why, where did English come from? Where did all these languages come from? Why, why did Allah allow this to happen? Why did, to allow it to happen? Having a why, why did Allah allow multiple languages? Yeah, yeah, so why, if he... If okay, he Allah, Allah answers this in the Quran, yeah? That Allah's created us in various tribes so we may get to know each other. Yeah, so for us to... It, it's this is one of the trials and tribulations of life. If everybody and every, if everybody and everything was one, that's not a test, bro. If you open a test paper, there's one question there. That's not really a test. If there's a if there's a test paper and there's twenty questions, uh, why, is the, why, why is the examiner? Why is the examiner? Why did he give the ability for everybody to? He does. It's to called a brain and it's called logic and reasoning. I don't know, man. Like, from, why? Because everybody in the UK, pretty much, they don't. Uh, they don't. They don't. They don't. They don't, they don't know the. Um, most of them don't know. They don't know Arabic. You have to go to like people in like Saudi Arabia. Bro, when everybody was born, no one knew a single language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every single person on this planet, <laughs> bar a few people that are mentally challenged or disabled, everybody learns a language. You learn, bro, you can't walk when I you're know, born. Know, you can't go to the yeah, toilet, you like, learn. I know, but I'm trying to say, like, so why is it... And why? Arabic is a language, yeah, which is not difficult. It's, it fluctuates. It's the top five most spoken language on the planet. Yeah, but why did he... Why Aramaic, he... Jesus' language is not yeah. there. Hebrew, the language of the Old Testament is not there. Arabic is. So that is a very common language and it can be learned. Very, it's not very difficult time, within he, a week. Why did he make it just for the Arabs? It's like... not made just for the Arabs. Arabic is a language that can be, it's like English. Okay. Can you make the I argument that English? Why 90% Muslims are fair to understand So what was your point? Because my, my point is, was, uh, um, it was like, um, like how, you know how like, you have all these Bible translations, right? Like, they're written in Greek, Hebrew. Bro, when I was, when I was in year two, yeah. I couldn't even speak English. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? I used to speak Urdu. No, I get what you're saying. I get bro, you're saying bro, that. I, I, would, I, I would need, I would need, yeah, I, a, need I, I would need an English support teacher yeah, to sit with me at the back of the class to help me. Yeah, I, so, 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 so I learned, so I learned how to speak English yeah, yeah. and, you know, I learned how to speak, you know, better Urdu, yeah, yeah, yeah. better Punjabi, ah, okay, Punjabi yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So no, I, some Hindi as well, maybe. I was just trying to say, like, why, why did, uh, like, um, at that time, why is it only, the language only for the Arabs? So why didn't he make it Greek? Because like, at that time, the international language, made, um, I'm pretty sure it was Greek. So why didn't he make it... Um, not the international language at that time was not Greek. It was mostly Greek, that's why these... Not mostly like, Greek, no. That's why these no, Greek has been seen. restricted to the, the, the European kind of peninsula. But you can't all, speak all about these, the East. All these, all these uh, manuscripts that they're written in, like they're written in Greek, Hebrew... So Latin, if we look at the largest populations uh, and, and the largest land mass, we're talking about Russia, we're talking about India, we're talking about China. Are you saying Greek was spoken over there? I mean, where the Bible was getting distributed... Bro, the was, the, was Greek. Greek spoken in Russia, China, India? Of course it wasn't. No, no, of course it wasn't. No, yeah, Russia, there, you, there yeah. you go. Then that's, that, that's the majority, isn't it? Yeah. So that's what we're talking about. So you, if you're talking about, oh, why did God not make everybody speak one language? Bro, why did God not give us all the ability to speak from day one? Why did God not give us the ability to walk? Bro, we had to learn how to walk, how to talk, how to, you know, uh, go to the toilet and all this sort of stuff. Why? Because Allah's created us in a weak state. Yeah, that we, you know, that, that brings us closer to God. If everything's going fine, if everything's going rosy and cozy, bro, no one's going to care about where we come from and all this. You're going to be too busy. You're going to be doing all, this, all of these things. When trials and challenges come, then you start learning, you've got exams, and then that brings you closer to God. You believe this even I in Christianity as well? Yeah. Here's the in Sahih Bukhari. If I, I just say this one more point, brother. Yeah? Yeah. Sahih Bukhari 564 says, One night Allah's Messenger led us in the Isha prayer. And that one is called the Al-Atma, by the people. After the completion of the prayer, he faced us and said, Do you know the importance of this night? Nobody present on the surface of the earth will be living after 100 years from this night. So he's trying to say like how, when they, after doing Easter prayer, and that was a special night, I don't know what night it was, maybe the night of Shaban. He's trying to say like, after this night, nobody on earth will be remaining after 100 years. Show me the hadith. <coughs> this one, yeah? Yeah, yeah? Do you know the importance of this night? Yeah, leading the Isha by the people after the completion of prayer, he faced us and said, Do you know the importance of this night? Nobody <laughs> present on the surface of the earth will be living after 100 years. Sorry, it's not. I'll check it. I don't know. Uh, let me take a picture of it.
Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, likewise. Bro. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's fine. It's what it happens, isn't it? Let me just take a picture. Because I'm learning as well, isn't it? Last yeah, verse, I'm, I'm, I'm go. Go. Today, you know, But it was nice talking to you, man. I like talking to you, man. Oh, thank you. Let me take a picture, yeah? Yeah. So, you can, uh, you can uh, re uh, read uh, this verse uh, in your own time. Yeah. Let's talk to you. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Yeah.